let's have a deeper look into the cursor object i will turn on the mongodb server and switch to mongo shell let's get connected to our test database which has a collection called names let me show you the documents present inside names collection observe here all these entries are in alphabetical order except the last one which has a numeric value of 25 i'll create a variable and assign our cursor object to it let me show the contents that is documents present inside this variable let me establish the cursor once again so our cursor object has a method called has next so this proof it returned true that means it has some objects it has some documents so using next method we could iterate through those documents one by one so cursor object can be modified using some methods i'll show you the sort method let me sort this these documents in reverse order that is reverse lexicographical order so minus one is uh, sorting in reverse order so all these are reversed except the last one because it is not string or uh, lexicographically those numeric values comes at the end so let me apply limit method here i limit it to just three documents and just three documents are fetched now let me chain show you how to change chain these methods so first i'll apply sorting that is in reverse lexicographical order that is name colon minus one i'll chain this with limit i'll limit it to just maybe five entries i think there are more than five documents here so i'll limit it to five entries i'll also skip first two documents and then limit it to five entries i'll explain this in a second now once we have the results here so see i just sort it live then skip first two documents and then limit the result to five so observe here we have first five documents here but due to skip two these two documents which i'm showing on the screen here are skipped and then next five documents have been retrieved and displayed as results here so remember these sorting skip and limit are applied on the server side and not on the client side and if there are more than so this is a basic cursor by the way i'll explain this explain method in a separate video if there are more than 20 documents this automatically restricts to 20 documents and then you could navigate through next 20 documents using some commands which i'll show you in the later videos so let me even tell you I'll show you programmatical way of retrieving this while this has next on the cursor object is true print the results in json format using cursor object dot next method so this is how this actually the mongo shell retrieves the results and shows it to the users remember the order of these methods being applied that is first the documents are sorted and then the results are being skipped and then the limit method is applied and all these happen at the server side and not the client side please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter stumble upon etc stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our youtube channel and please like this video on youtube